Welcome to a solo Rust adventure. Now I'd spent my first day on the server making my base as hidden and secret as possible on the top of the tallest mountain. And so unsurprisingly, when I woke up, my base was unraided. But after a rather unique find, I ended up turning my wipe into a farming empire. So sit back, relax, and I hope you guys enjoy my journey on Vanilla Rust. A lot can change in just one night. So after waking up, the first thing I needed to do was some farming and explore the area around to see if any new neighbors had moved in. Hey, didn't get offline. What can I say? It's because the base is invisible. <laughs> no one saw it. That's why it survived, I swear. All right. Oh, oh. Okay. New clan base down there. That's interesting. Hey. I... I don't think anyone else has built. I must say I'm surprised. I thought... I mean, obviously, apart from that clan base down there, but... Damn. Time to do some farming. Ah, there is a little 2x2 two two over here. I'm not too worried. Might just be a solo. Oh uh, yeah, and if you guys are looking for a server to play, make sure you check out my solo-only servers. They're pretty sweaty, but they're good fun. I want to just say a massive thank you guys for getting me past 400,000 subscribers, and you, you've flown me past, like, it's, it's honestly unbelievable how quickly I'm growing and how positive just everyone is, like, the comment section, you guys are just so friendly and just so, it honestly makes me so proud of, of the community that I have, uh, so thank you guys for that. And, you know, if there's anything, any ideas you want me to do in future videos, let, let me know. It's always good to have your priorities set when playing Solo Rust. And that's why I decided to use all my valuable cloth to craft more rugs. More rugs. This is the only way. In my defense, these rugs are actually pretty important because the roof is metal. And it's bright. There, see how much better that looks? base is perfect. Okay, good morning. Oh, I honestly just do not get over how insane this view is. God, I love this base so much. Oh, the rugs look sick. On the previous day, launch site had been filled with zergs at all times. But it was a new day. I wanted to try my luck at getting some high tier loot. Oh god, already hearing MP5s. It's open. Nice. Sword. No milk crates. That's annoying. Alright, if I can get this home alive. Oh, there's someone following me. That's not good. Oh, wait, what? Okay, I don't know where that guy came from. He's probably his teammate. Came out of nowhere. Unfortunately, after the whole launch run, I had died just half a square from my base. These things happen. The day was still young, and I wasn't going to let that dishearten me. I went to go grab a morning cup of coffee, and moved on. And when I returned, 
something interesting started happening. What's going on? I think that's the base that was literally right down the hill. I might be able to do something here. Yeah, it is. Crazy. It's like 20 minutes after I come on. Oh, that's a lot of people. That's at least five? Maybe more. Ow! Bollocks. See if I can sneak in while they're gone. That's the opening. Aha. Did they raid it properly? Why do they have so much fertilizer? Ah, they didn't. Didn't have enough boom. The raiders had clearly run out of explosives while trying to reach the core. I saw this as an opportunity for some grubbing. I knew that they'd have to return, and with explosives. So I waited in the darkness with my trusty double barrel. Oh, I hear someone outside. I don't think that's one of the raiders, though. Probably another grub like myself. Oh, hello, you. Oh, we had a Jackie. Fuck it, I'm getting that home. Despite not killing my intended target, the jackhammer was such a powerful tool for the area that I lived in that I had to return home as quickly as I could. And it was just as well, because as I was leaving, the raiders returned. Oh, that was good timing. The back. Oh my god. I was wrong. That is more than five. That could be more than ten. <laughs> I'm so glad I got out of there. I would be a dead man. Yeah, they're finishing it off. Yep, that's the one garage door. I hoped that a 10-man group like that would leave behind items that, for a solo like myself, were quite valuable. So I went back to the raided base as soon as they left. I think they're gone. Hopefully I'm the first one in here after they left. Ooh. And that special item I mentioned earlier? This is where I found it. <gasps> Yo! A seed! A god seed. For those of you unfamiliar with Rust's farming mechanics, plants can be crossbred for the perfect genetics, allowing the maximum yield and the fastest growth time possible. This is a very time consuming process, and so getting my hands on a perfect genetic crossbreed seed meant that my potentials for farming cloth had just become endless. And so this marked the beginning of my farming days. Oh wait. Hang on a minute, there's a new bait. Okay, that's not good. That looks like a big group. Oh no. While returning home with the seed, I'd spotted the beginnings of a new compound forming, right next to my base on my mountain. I had no idea how many players would be living inside, but I knew that I had to act quickly before they expanded any further. Fuck it, I'm just gonna go take TC. If I take one of their externals and grief it, they won't be able to expand unless they blow it up or move. It's kind of all I can do, I don't have any explosives to raid their base. I'm hoping they don't have any weapons yet. But the fact that they've already built this shows that they're gonna be quite a large threat. Okay. MTC down, key lock. Okay, that's good, that's my TC now. Did they come back? I don't think so. Shit, I can't upgrade it. Oh, it's because their own main TC takes privilege. What can I do? What can I do? Oh, this is big brain. 10,000 IQ. Reduce the range of their TC. 
And then now I should be able to upgrade this triangle. Oh, let's go. Yeah, they're going to have to spend 10 satchels at least if they want to get this DC back. Hopefully they just move. With no explosives learnt, that was the best I could do to stop their progress for now. If they wanted to build their base as intended, they'd have to spend at least four rockets blowing through a stone wall to get access to their tool cupboard. And if nothing else, at least I got them a little bit triggered. Alright, back to the farming. Okay, what am I going to need? I need a solar panel. Uh, I need a ceiling light as well. Get a water bucket. Get a catcher as well, actually, that might be handy. I really wish all these BPs were default. It makes no sense, really, that you have to spend, like, 400 scrap just to... Just to grow some hemp. Go on. Oh, well. Hey. After getting the catcher down, I did have to go to campus for a lab, which would take a good few hours. It wasn't until later on in the evening that I was able to get back on. Okay. I'm just gonna pray that that group either stopped playing or they moved. <laughs> Fuck my life. <laughs> they did not move. My neighbors had expanded a lot in a short amount of time and were presumably quite a few players deep. It wasn't the end of the world. I figured if I kept my head down, they wouldn't come after me. Yeah, I think the plan is just to not annoy them for a bit. They'll probably get raided by someone else. I mean, honestly, after all my time playing solo, normally these big groups, they just get raided by each other, and your base is just like the last one standing. It happens every time, as long as it's, you know, strong enough. Alright, so this is going to be one of my farms. I do plan on building more farms, but I'm just going to go with one for now. Get a little bed down, why not? Solar panel. I've only got a small battery. It'll do. I don't even have room for any other battery in this little base anyway. And we should have power. Power! Yay! And that should power that as well. My farm was almost set up. I just needed one more tarp to be able to make the planter box. Alright, all I need is one tarp. Oh. I mean, I know I was only going to get one tarp, but I might as well farm. I don't know why someone left that stuff. It's kind of weird. Ow. I don't know why I break my legs sometimes there, and then other times I don't. It's kind of random. Oh, I'm gonna need a different way up to my base. I don't wanna have to run past that group every time. Yeah, I really don't like this. Ooh. There's a lot of water in there. I might come back with a bucket for my farm. Ah, okay, I made it, I made it, that's good. And with the top, now I can make a planter box. Hell yeah. Wood and top. Nice. Seems to give that some water. How do I actually get water into this bucket? Am I being stupid? Please don't shout at me. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh... <laughs> I may have just looked that up. <laughs> oh well. At least I figured it out eventually. 
the answer was to right click. Probably could have guessed that, to be honest. Is now ready for the God Seed. I'm just going to use one because I don't trust myself and I feel like I'll forget. And then the plant will die and I'll, <laughs> and I'll lose it. My baby, I will look after you. I'm just going to get some water to store. Wait, what? Can I not store that? <laughs> nope. Well, there goes 4,000 water. You learn something new every day. Buckets are really annoying. Oh well. Guess I'll take one. There you go. Have some more water. Yeah, I want to make a path up this side of the cliff so that I can get to my base without even being seen by the by the big clan. I think that's going to work best for me. Okay, so if I have a foundation there and then a ladder here... I need to learn the ladder. It's kind of annoying that I have to spend my scrap on it, but I think it'll be worth it. There we go. Okay, so a ladder there. Wait. Oh, these rocks are so annoying. They're hitboxes, man. Why can I not jump on that ladder? It's right there! Fuck! There you go. At least that ladder works. That's something. And that... Has it happened again? Oh, but... <laughs> These hitboxes are so annoying. I just want to use the ladder. The cliffs are so messed up. You can't even climb them with ladders. Why can I not... Okay. Oh, I'm losing my mind. Oh, wait. it works. <laughs> it works. Just... Wait, I've just realized, these water catchers down here, I can just use myself. I mean, that one's wired up, but this one I don't think is. So it should have water, yeah. That looks, so I, can, I don't think I need to worry about setting up water when I can just kind of manually take water from here each time. That works pretty well. Okay. So I jump up this one. Just about. <laughs> it's a bit annoying, but it does work. Sometimes. I think I need another ladder down here, actually. Okay, and then I jump up here. Up this ladder. Onto the foundation. And then up to this one. If this one works, yay, and I'm up. I'm like a mountain goat. I love it. Oh, it's growing. I don't know if I can clone it yet. I'm not going to clone it, just in case. I'll leave it for now. Right, I am going to do a little bit of farming. I'm going to head to launch again. Oh lord, no thank you. Ooh, a bear rug. Oh my... <laughs> I will be amazed if I get home alive. This might be getting a bit greedy, recycling again, with this much going on, but oh well. Yeah, I, I'm not waiting for those road signs, I just want to get out of here. Oh! Fucking polar bear. Go away, Yogi. It almost got me. Shots everywhere. Almost home. Last ladder. Easy. I mean, that's good. That's like 200 scrap, one run. Almost enough for a tier 2. Water. 
water to fill up. Dig a hole to have it. Straight up to have it. I'm gonna make the roofs high qual because I don't want to have to expand upwards because then my base will be really visible. I need to keep it flat and that way it'll stay hidden. Got this metal as well. Ah oh well, it's tanky enough. Put that panda right back. You know what, I, it's time to do a little bit of base organization. Not a lot, but a little bit. Once I get garage doors, I'll do a full reorganization. Uh, I really miss the day when you could place doors on top of boxes. Like, you could leave your boxes there and just place the garage door, like, through it. It made life so much easier than, like, building and stuff like that. Okay, this way I won't ever step on my campfire. Alright, this could be random shit. My plant has grown so much. More rugs! Yeah, that looks good. I like it. It's good enough. This base looks so good when the sun rises. I mean, come on. Have you ever seen a better view in Russ? No, no you haven't. I'm gonna do a bit of roaming north. I've never actually gone that way yet. We'll see what's, uh, what's around there. Actually, quite a lot of shops. I reckon I could find something good. Satchel. Wait. What the fuck? She just ran straight into me. I should not be alive. I don't know how I'm alive. I mean, I didn't aim very well. Those reflexes, though, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'll take an MP5 in the Thompson. For a revolver, thank you. Those guys are probably quite mad. While searching through the shops, I found one selling a workbench level 2 for just 2,000 sulfur. By farming up some sulfur quickly and buying this workbench, meant I could save my 500 scrap for important blueprints. Oh my god, that's a whole Zerg village over there. That's awful. Some people on this server are crazy. Alright, I think those guys are distracted. I'm gonna run now. Oh, I knew they'd come after me. Oh. Guys have chosen death. That's one. Oh, he missed me, thank God. Ah, you're running now, bitch. And he's dead. That's what they get. Don't mess with Will Jump. Alright. Onwards to the outpost. Oh, we made it. Right, let's get this workbench level 2. And then, I just need to get home alive. It's always easier said than done. Got some wood. That is nice. Alright, I'm just going to do it and hope I don't die. Yeah, that is such a big zerg. Ooh, 
almost home. There it is. Ah, <sighs> that feels good. That feels good. And the fact that I didn't have to waste 500 scrap as well. Okay, first up, garage door. I don't think I have enough scrap. I'm going to need a little bit more, but I'm almost there. It's a uh, shift middle mouse to split into three. There's, <laughs> there's always someone that asks. Look at that. We got our three clones. And now... I can uh, clone all three of those, and I will have nine. Yeah. Two, three. There we go, nine clones. And now, I'm going to save three. No, no, I'm not. I'm just going to do it. Good morning. My beautiful base. My work of art. With the workbench level 2 now down, I just needed a little bit of scrap to learn the garage door. A blueprint that would make my base so much stronger. Alright, if I get these bits recycled and home, that is definitely enough. Do the gate as well. Oh no. Night night MP5. I, I was not expecting that. Oh, those are his friends. Oh no. Oh no. Please. I just want the scrap. Oh. My butt's clenched. Fuck. Oh. I think I made it. I think I made it. Why are there so many shots? Alright, just the ladders and I'm home. Oh, thank gosh. MP5, and I can learn the garage door. Finally! With the scrap home, I finally had enough to learn the garage door in the tech tree. Unfortunately, I ran out of storage on my hard drive while recording, so I lost the footage of me upgrading my base. But, this is the finished product for now. I can't believe I just spent like an hour completely like redoing my base, organizing loot. And I forgot that my storage was full. I even I even painted a sign, Wiljum's hut. I'm so sad. Oh well. Oh well. I mean you can tell how long I spent. Look how much they've grown. I'm so proud. Alright, so I'll go three clones, and then I can harvest the rest. Damn, that gives me almost 400 cloth, like every hour. That's insane for doing nothing. So, uh, for the OCD of you out there, I did even organize my loot, sort of. Got clothes in there, charcoal in there, random bits in there, meds and bandages in here, resources in that one, and components in that one. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually pretty poor, but uh, <laughs> we don't talk about that. You know what? I'm kind of tempted now to try my own genetic crossbreeding. Have some water. With my cloth farm up and running, I wanted to expand even further. I'd never actually tried the process of genetic crossbreeding myself, but today I thought I'd figure it out. What have I walked into? Oh, okay. I'm in the middle of something right now and I do not want to be here. Okay, there are people everywhere. <laughs> what have I done? I just want to farm some stone. Just keep my head down. I... That is too many people. I don't know how I made it home. I think I want to try the crossbreeding with blueberries. I think they're pretty handy. While briefly looking through all the shops on the island, I spotted a workbench level 3 being sold in one. And for only 3,000 sulfur, that was an absolute steal. Hey, I can finally use my chair. Wiljum's humble abode. 
I think I've won Rust, right? This is how you win. And no oh, I can use this horse to uh, go to outposts. Safer. That's a really good one. Go, tier three. I'll let this guy pass before I ride off. Hey man, can I trade? You? Can, can we trade? What do you need? I, 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 I built you. No. I have a gift for you. I, I can go away. I don't want to take your horse. I can go away. <laughs> oh, it's a clone. Oh, legend. Appreciate it. I've got a gift for you too. You have a good day, sir. I I I have a good day, sir. I love your videos, man. <laughs> I love you too. That guy was sweet. I won't tell him I already had a god claim. Easy tier three. He's locked. Uh, if the door's not decaying, there could be loot in here. Yeah, no, metal's not decaying, so there's definitely metal in tool cupboard. Yo, yeah, what? Why do the cab so much on him? Oh, we had incense. I can go raid the TC right now. It actually only takes two instant shells to properly destroy a TC. There we go. Yeah, not bad. 75 scrap. I'll take it. That is a big old compound. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a guy up there. Oh, he's coming for me. I'm gonna bait him. Yeah, that was easy. I had a sneaky teammate. Oh, we had a custom. Yeah, I'm glad I killed him. Two more water catchers. That'll help the uh, the water supply. And now I think it is time to finally broaden my horizon. Increase my farming capacity. And that's what my base needs now. More, more farming. And then it will be perfect. Okay, so I'll go with the door there. I'll go with windows all the way around. Just because it looks cool. And so people know that I've got a farm in here and like... Might stop people from raiding me, you never know. People might have some sort of soul, some heart in this game. Probably not. This all started with just a 2x1, but this is actually one of my favourite bases I've ever built now. Okay, I just need the heater. Perfect. Oh, there's enough power, that's good. Okay, so I need seeds with five gr just like that. I need lots of seeds with five greens, and then I'll be able to crossbreed them together. Hopefully. With the expansion of the farm complete, I now needed to collect as many blueberry seeds as I could. Oh, those guys are online. Uh-oh. Wait. Uh. What? 
What the fuck? How did he have any idea that was me? How what? Yeah, yeah. How, how did you know that? Are you Jesus? Oh, oh my God! I guessed it, Jim. You did. That was I'm pretty. Uh, fan, bro. That was impressive. Wait, I guess, bro. Take that water bottle. Now you picked up something. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I like the punch, man. Oh, oh, yo, 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 take, take that, take that, you know, uh, <laughs> Thank you, man. my friend gave you uh, the perfect the genetic, uh, oh. oh my god, I'm gonna save oh, this right. forever, bro, <laughs> <laughs> this forever. You see that? On the top of the hill. <laughs> That's me. Can I take a screenshot with you? Okay, yeah, yeah, take a picture, can I take a screenshot? <laughs> yeah, take of course. Picture. These guys are so funny, man. In the distance. I love you guys. Hey, I love you guys too. <laughs> oh yeah, appreciate that. See you. <laughs> it's people like that that really just make my day, honestly, man. Oh, there's one. And another. And another. Alright, so we've got 16 seeds. I'm just looking for those five greens. Four. Four. I don't think four's particularly helpful. I think it's best that I just look for the fives. Ah, it's unlucky. None. Come on, that's so annoying. I need some good luck here. Okay, so I don't know a lot about this, and I've never done this before. But I've done a little research, and I found out that Seeds during their crossbreeding stage will take up all the genes from the seeds around them. The red genes carry the most weight, and so you need two of the same green gene to replace a red gene. And what this means is that you, if you have two of the same red gene from two different seeds, you will always get a red gene, and so you have to find seeds with overlapping greens, so that when you combine them, the greens always outweigh the number of reds. I don't know if that makes sense. Right, and then I can clone this one, and that is another five green seed. Now I just need to find a couple more randomly, and then I reckon I'll be able to get an all green. Four, three. Oh, come on. Hello. 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 Are you Feast Master Seeker or something like that? Uh, no. Hello. I think that he's talking about the guy that I've bumped into. Thought, uh, here. Ah, no. By the way, hello. Hello. Nice base. Thank you. Uh, do you know where he lives? Maybe. What's his name? Sister Fister. <laughs> Sister uh, Fister. It's a really strange name. No, I'm afraid I don't know where he lives. <laughs> I know exactly where he lives. Oh, okay. Whereabouts do you live? Enjoy. It's all good. Uh, I live down there, uh, down. Ah, okay. The huge compound. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, have a nice day or night, man. Yeah, uh, you too, man. Sorry See for ya. bothering you. That's alright. See ya. See ya. Why has everyone been so friendly today? What's going on? This isn't rust. Ooh, another five. Another five? Yo, I might actually be able to make the seed now. He's on my base. We just wanted to get over and ah, it's these know. guys. Hello. This base is really nice. <laughs> Thanks. We're just taking some pictures out there. <laughs> so, uh, That's all good. Don't, don't mind, okay? <laughs> uh oh. oh seems to be running out of power. Uh, I'm kind of running it all on one solar panel. Seems like it's not enough at this time in the morning. Oh, well. Might have to make another one. No, no, no it's all good. I can, I can craft one. You know, I reckon... I'll do the math, but I reckon I should actually be able to create the perfect seed now. I, mean, I might just need one more, actually. 
No. No. Ah. Okay, so if I take that one. Yeah, so these overlapping, if you see, there's no overlapping reds. And the greens will outweigh the ones that are red. And I hate to admit, but once again, after a Windows update, I failed to check my audio settings properly. So I found that the rest of the content has no game sounds. I'll still show you it anyway. And I promise I won't do it again. Oh, it's so much easier getting water when I've got all three of them. Grab that clone. Okay, I think that's it. These four. While looking after my plants, I heard a 2C4 raid nearby. I headed over with a double barrel to check it out. Oh shit, a horse. Oh, that's definitely the guy that just did the raid. I wonder if he's left anything. Wait. Wait, he didn't look. What is this guy doing? Um. Wait, I can craft a hammer and just pick up the workbench. Did this guy not know he can just do that? I think he went home to get more explosives. Oh, this guy's such a dummy. He's just... <laughs> He's just giving me his raid. That guy needs seal. I'm just gonna fully seal it for now. Oh, whoops. That's a waste of wood. Okay, this is now mine. That's incredible. I cannot believe I just got this raid for free. He's gonna be very mad. After stealing the base, I had to now be careful, as it was clear that this man would be back for his raid. Okay, I'm gonna have to be really careful when I leave, because I guarantee he's just gonna be waiting outside, angry. Okay, I need another airlock here. <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> I fucking knew he'd be waiting. Oh, this isn't good. I don't have enough wood. I'm gonna sit right here for him and bait him with that tool cupboard. <laughs> oh, he just got flattened. He is not very happy. I think I could do with a break for a little bit. I'll be back on soon. Uh, where's my front door? <laughs> uh, excuse me. Okay, no one's damaged the sign. That's good. <laughs> Someone raided my farm? Oh, the idiots. They destroyed my heater, though. That's a bit annoying. Yeah, they didn't raid, raid that farm. Thank God. <laughs> what dumbass? It's just gonna reseal that, thank you. What are those bears doing? <laughs> that naked just got murdered by three bears. And after all this time, I'd finally got my hands on the perfect combination of seeds for the genetic crossbreed. Alright, I can't mess this up. I got one seed in the middle, and I wait for it to get to the crossbreeding stage. Okay, and then I put all of the seeds around it, but one of each. I can't add any duplicates by accident, because that'll mess everything up. And then... It's almost there. Let's fucking go! <laughs> We've got the six green seed. Oh, I'm so proud right now. That feels so good. I finally had the blueberry seed 
with six positive genes. All I would need to do now is the final step of swapping the H's for G's or Y's. Okay, so I just put two of each. And I got a 50-50 of getting what I want. There we go. We got another G instead of an H. Oh, too good at this. Too good. And now, feeling incredibly accomplished with myself, it was time to test the new God Seeds. I've left one H in there because I kind of want it. Oh, look at that. That is a beautiful sight right there. Fully grown God Blueberry Seeds. I've had so much fun this wipe. Oh, fucking that guy doesn't want me to have fun. That was weird timing. Where's he gone? He made me spill my water. Oh wait. What the fuck? What's he doing over here? Wait, what? Uh Sorry? Okay, that guy has definitely got some insane loot. I guarantee he already got like two boxes home. If that Oh, he lives in that two by two over there. I kind of feel like I should just raid that guy, like, for the lols. Probably gonna lose, but why not? Oh, that is a beautiful sight. Who said I'm- wait, no, this does actually kind of make me a role player. never mind. I'll take it back. Maybe- maybe you're right. Maybe I am a role-playing farmer at heart, but I love it. Oh, look at that. It was clear that that player had already secured the best loot from that decayed base. I had some gunpowder already crafted, and so, to finish off my wipe, I decided to hit him with a little online raid. Alright, so I'll sneak up, kill him as he opens his front door, and then blow up his second door that's behind it. And hopefully that's it. Okay, and blow through the second door. I guarantee he's got a good gun in there that he would have got from the boxes. Ah, he didn't come out. Wait, <laughs> did I not craft enough gunpowder? <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> I didn't bring enough explo ammo. Oh, it's because it only makes two at a time, not three. I'm so dumb. Okay, I, all I can do is wait. I literally just have to wait to see if he opens the door. I'm so dumb. No! <laughs> so close. It doesn't always go your way. As a matter of fact, he was actually left with 0.4 health. Classic Rust, really. And that sums up my experience playing solo on Official Rust. I really hope you enjoyed this mini-series. If you did, make sure you subscribe. Massive thank you to my patrons, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Wiljam, out.